Welcome to day one of the 30 goals challenge. My name is Shelly Terrell and today's goal is to aim to be a beam and not a wall. There are two quotes to support this today. The first one you saw on the blog and this one is don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do it. Because what the world needs is people who come alive. This is by Howard Thurman. I chose this as an overall goal for the 30 Goals Challenge because I hope that in our profession that educators aim to find and help facilitate and help students find what makes them come alive. I really believe in people living and doing their passion and I hope as an educator that you're living and you're doing your passion that teaching makes you come alive because it makes me come alive. The second one is actually from one of the participants of the 30 goals which is John Evans and this one is very good for today's goal it's you cannot force commitment what you can do is you nudge a little here inspire a little there and provide a role model your primary influence is the environment you create by Peter Singe I want to talk a little about being a beam. I think our students are like structures um, in the way that usually they come to us with the foundation built. This is usually by their environment, their peers, their parent, the icons, the people they look up to, many, many other influences. It depends what your beliefs are about the way people learn. I think that what we should try and do is be like a beam. A beam in a structure does a great thing. It's hidden and it, should, it offers support. Really strong beams will make a structure stand and withstand through anything. So if we can be structures for our students. Students will have several teachers in their lives and hopefully each of them gives them a beam of support. That beam is like the knowledge that we share the experience they have with us. A student when facing a difficult time or a decision or having to make those tough choices will think back to something they learned and then they'll be able to fall upon the different beams and pull what they need at the time. Beams support a structure long-standing. If there's a tornado, if there's um, anything like that, a very strong beam and structure, um, a very strong framework will support a building. I think we shout for that for our students and every day we have a choice when we go inside the classroom to either approach students and have a good experience with them, a good learning, provide them a good learning experience or to carry everything that's impacting us into the classroom and be kind of walls. <laughs> Um, and I mean walls in the sense of being an obstacle. And what I mean by that is that sometimes, you know, we every day it's very stressful for educators. It's a lot of time. We give a lot. We don't get paid enough. But if we can put all that aside for our students and for each other and be support for each other, then I think that's a really great um, aim for us. I think we can also do that with each other. We do that through social media networks like the 30 Goals Challenge. We can be each other's beams. We can offer support to each other. And I know many times my personal passionate learning network, all the educators that I interact with online and eventually offline, um, have really been my support through really tough times. Um, They've just been there through many different experiences and even through the 30 Goals Challenge last year they were there. So I really hope that you can find different types of beams that you connect with that will be long standing in your life and offer that kind of support to you as an educator because every educator needs support system. And it's great if you can pay that forward in a way and be somebody else's support system. So the short term goal today is just to find a way that you can be a support to someone. This can be with technology. Some technology ideas is, for example, today I was asked to leave um, a note on a wall wisher. A wall wisher is a great tool. You can use it for birthdays, things like that. You basically, it's sticky notes. It's free. And one of the things was to for their job resume. Now, beams 
are hidden. They they don't get uh, noticed or anything like that. If you do something, you don't have to be noticed. So that's one of the things to focus on with this particular goal is try doing something where it, it's not for any reason. It's just because you want to offer the support. You can do this through an e-card. You can do this by leaving a, a DM on Twitter, uh, Facebook, you can connect with them there. You can sometimes people send flowers, or uh, a lot of times they'll tag you somewhere or something like that. You can retweet. Uh, there's so many ways you can offer someone support. Try to find a really creative way to just support someone today, a any educator. And that's your short term goal. The long term goal is to find ways that we can teach our students how to support each other in the classroom how to be the kind of student and person that offers support. Because when students learn how to be other people's support, when they're always giving, then I believe that they make better choices. They tend to have others in mind. They tend to keep them in mind. And they just become better citizens. And this is something that I think is lacking in many schools. We don't teach enough about giving and uh, being a good citizen. So that's one thing that we can aim at. Another thing that I want to do is to answer a few questions about the 30 Goals Challenge that were asked in some of the comments, and I think they were really great. Just to clarify some things. This is a very organic process. Basically, we find out the goal every single day. It's kind of like a surprise. Now, a month from now when you do the goals, then yes, there will be a list of all of them. But it's... I have many of the goals lined out, but sometimes it's very organic for me too. It's whatever speaks to me at the time as well. And um, what I think is really needed, maybe something will come up from you and all of a sudden the goal will change. So that's why I don't provide the list at the beginning because I really want it to be an organic process. I learn from you, you learn from me. Okay, so that's one part. Technology is not the focus of the 30 Goals Challenge. 30 Goals Challenge is different aims. You don't have to use any technology. We will have technology tips that we provide, different types of tools. Like today, the free tool was Wallwisher, which is a great tool. Um, Blabberize. You can send someone a great Blabberize comment. You should check that out. I'll put the link down. Or a photo babble. I do this quite often to share people up when they're feeling sick or something like that. But these will just be suggestions and basically it, the idea is for the tool um, not to be the main focus but instead to support whatever type of um, plan or aim or goal that we have because I think that's the way most tools should work in technology in the classroom is that we should aim for something like being a support system um, and then see what kind of technologies would be best for that kind of support system. And there's so many choices. So you get to choose the one that's best for you, or you get to try them out. Uh, it's up to you. It's very organic. The other thing that was asked were these going to be different goals? Yes. They're all very, very different from the ones last year. So some of them, a few may overlap, but pretty much all of the goals are different. And that was um, another reason that I called for this kind of forum is because I think there's a lot of lessons that we can learn in education and there's a lot that we can learn from each other. So I hope to learn from you and uh, hopefully you learn something from me. I do want to give a few shout outs. I know that's going a little long. Um, First of all, I'd like to give a shout out to David Wicks, uh, Professor David Wicks' class and students who will be undergoing this 30 Goals Challenge this time. Also, Cecilia Schultz, teachers who will be uh, participating in the project. Lisa Dabbs, new teachers from her group. And also, Marty Sides, who every day was a wonderful beam for me. Every day she blogged and completed the 30 goals every single day and I learned so much from her and that's why I wanted to bring this whole social network. I was inspired by our interaction. Um, at the time I wasn't very big on Twitter so I really appreciate Marty stepping up and 
just being there. She she was just amazing. She had no, new ideas and things, and we just were able to spring back and forth with uh, the comments and things like that. Uh, I'll be giving shout outs throughout, uh, you know, different people who have been there and supporting and did the 30 Goals Challenge last year. But Marty was really special because she did every single goal. <laughs> um, I'd also like to give a shout out to um, Jerry Cyberi Man. Um, Jerry Blooming Garten, but we call we know him as the Cyberi Man, and the reason why we know him as Cyberi Man is because he shares so many incredible resources. Last year for the Thirty Goals Challenge, one of the challenges was to support new bloggers. That's not part of this challenge, but Jerry was really fantastic. Created the page for the new teachers, uh, bloggers, and uh, that's a support. It, it, Jerry didn't get anything out of it. He does it all for free. And he listed all of their blogs on his website. And we used uh, the hashtag new ed blog. So that way any educators who had created a blog could, um, we could leave comments and support them and things like that and go read their blog. So I really appreciate Jerry's uh, help with that. Thank you. And I look forward to your response to this goal. And hopefully we can go ahead and add it to the YouTube channel or leave a comment and I will integrate as much of the comments and things like that as we can. Feel free to disagree, feel free to add a different perspective, feel free to share a technology tool you believe is perfect for this or an idea, any type of idea in the classroom.